They refuse to install that filter because I asked for it. <laughs> um, all right. Give it just one more minute. Um, is this webcam picking up audio too? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. started and uh, so what I want to talk about today uh, most of, we've been discussing this many of us already but uh, I've been participating in open source marketing things for a number of years I've been doing uh, stuff with Fedora marketing for about two years a little bit more than two years um, and so today I want to talk about marketing is not a spectator sport and I'll explain what I mean by that as we go through the talk um, so, in keeping with good marketing practices, how many folks in here have a Twitter account or some sort of social media? Okay. I would like to encourage all of you to tweet about this talk while you are here, since you're all looking at your phones anyway. Um, I'm JZB on Twitter, and on most other things where I can claim that name and they allow character names below four characters. Um, I'm Joe Brockmeyer. So who is this person? By the way, sorry, the hashtag for flock is just flock, I believe. No, it's flock to fedora because flock is the name of the shop. Oh, flock to fedora. And in the past, it was a Twitter conference, but we asked them to change it for us, and they did. Wow. Okay. So flock to fedora. Okay. I have been using flock. All right. So I hope it's not anything not work safe. <laughs> uh, all right. So who is this person? Um, my name is Joe Brockmeyer. I'm a recovering tech journalist. I work for Red Hat these days. Um, I'm in the Open Source and Standards group. Uh, these days I manage the community team. Uh, before that I was working on Project Atomic and before that I was sort of a open source floater working on many things including Fedora marketing. So why am I giving this talk? Um, my experience in the last couple of years I've been writing the Fedora release announcements and things like that trying to participate in Fedora marketing and I often experience people coming to Fedora Marketing and saying things like, marketing, marketing should really do this, or why hasn't marketing come to us? Um, and, and I'm sure that uh, other people in other groups have experienced the same thing, and I'm sure that you know, that's, we're not exclusive to that. But a lot of things that we do in marketing are things that everyone in the project should participate in. For example, tweeting about the, the conference. Um, this is a very low energy task that anybody in this room with an account can do, and yet most people don't. Um, so I want to encourage people to, when they think about why are we doing all this great work on Fedora and it's not, we haven't achieved world domination, at least part of that is because we have yet to communicate our message to all of the people who we, who we could. So what do we mean by marketing? Um, there are textbook definitions of marketing, which Ruth is probably far more qualified to explain than I am, but when I talk about marketing in the sense of this talk, I'm talking about all of the things that we do to promote Fedora, and hopefully in the future the things that we also do to gather feedback from users and help improve Fedora and make Fedora more awesome so that we suck in more people and eventually achieve the aforesaid world domination. So the topics I want to go through today, uh, the goals for Fedora marketing as I understand them today, what marketing currently does, actually the activities that we take on, why you, yes you, must help, ways you can help, and then open floor and discussion in the time that we have left. So goals for Fedora marketing, and if I'm saying anything here that anybody strongly disagrees with, please say, but we want to raise awareness of Fedora. We want to promote the uh, foundations, freedom, friends, features, and first. We want to go out and, and 
make sure that we spread not just the distribution itself, but the philosophy behind it. We want to encourage use of and contribution to Fedora, and we want to gather feedback and input to the future for the future of Fedora. Is any did I miss anything, or is any of this controversial in any way? Okay. So now I want to talk about ideal versus reality. What does marketing do, and what what does it do ideally, and then what do we actually accomplish right now as a body? So ideally, we collaborate with all of the teams, or at least most of them. I don't know how much, for example, marketing and RelEng really need to work together, um, although probably it's a good idea if marketing has some idea of what the release engineering team is doing, and they know that they can come to us if there's something that we can help promote, but maybe release engineering and marketing don't have to be that tight. Design and marketing, on the other hand, yes. Ambassadors of marketing, yes. The work groups, yes. Um, we should be developing messaging and uh, materials for the ambassadors and the rest of the project. You know, uh, Matt is awesome. Uh, Matthew Miller is awesome, and he does a great job of talking to press, and he is very situationally aware of Fedora, but it still helps if he has somebody building the talking points and things and giving him information that in this insight into things that maybe he doesn't have in Fedora. We should be providing an editorial strategy, especially for the magazine, but also otherwise. When I say that, I mean it would be great if we can get to the point where not only are we writing things for Fedora magazine, but we have people who are ambassadors, not just ambassadors that go out and go to events and talk about Fedora, but people who will actually go to publications outside of the Fedora landscape and write about Fedora for us. So Linux Magazine and OpenSource.com, for example, will take contributed content. LWN will take contributed content. It would be great if we had people who were participating in marketing who would take it upon themselves to work with us and go out and write about Fedora in those venues so we can spread the word farther. Uh, we need to manage social media for Fedora, which we've been doing for a while. Uh, we should be developing surveys and administering them to users and giving that feedback to the different groups. We should be able to go back to cloud and help them when they write their PRDs. Anybody know what a PRD is? Yeah, I know you do, Paul. Product requirement document. It's what we go to the council with to say this is kind of where we see this edition going. Okay, So we actually have some, uh, you know, we relate the, the addition and the product to reality and what we should be trying to achieve. Uh, we also should be maintaining the marketing wiki and new contributor materials and so forth. So what does marketing really do? Okay, We kind of poke teams last minute when we need something, sort of. Um, we, you know, I've been, I've been doing the release announcements for the alpha, the beta, and the finals for a while. And I... <coughs> Um, and I, my, you know, I'm always thinking like next release, I'm going to go to these groups earlier and I'm going to ask for input. What really happens is the week before the readiness meeting, I'm like, workstation, I know you guys do something this cycle, what? Tell me, because I need input. And then Paul comes and rescues. Um, you know, the only group I'm really tied into right now is cloud, you know, so. Um, we create the bare minimum of content for the ambassadors, usually when the ambassadors roll up and say, so I have a talk tomorrow, what do we got? And then we scramble and try to put things together. Um, we manage Fedora Magazine. Uh, we're doing that kind of well. Um, I would give us at least a B right now on what we're doing with Fedora Magazine. Um, we do some social media stuff. Right now we have um, the talented and beautiful Brian Prophet is doing some work for Fedora. Uh, uh, social media as well. Um, surveys? No. Um, not in several years. And wiki? I just seriously need a shot of scotch when I think about the state of the wiki. Um, is bad, is what I'm saying. Um, so, how would I rate uh, Fedora marketing, especially relative to the other groups in Fedora? I, I would struggle to give us a C- minus right now. Um, I, and I understand all of the caveats that go with this, okay? I understand that we're all volunteers. I mean, how many of the folks in this room work for Red Hat? 
okay? How many folks have contributed to Fedora marketing in some way in the last cycle, okay? How many people were actually paid to do that as part of their day job? A lot fewer hands are gonna go up on that one. I kinda sorta, since my job description has always been vague, I can, I can kinda say that it fits my job description, but honestly, I'm usually writing the release notes at about 10 o'clock at night, so. Um, it's a volunteer organization, and so, yeah. We, we have a lot of room to improve, but we can't crack the whip too hard because everybody's doing this kind of in spare cycles. All right, so I've kind of, yeah? I have something that's between a question and an introduction. Okay. Last a year ago, there was a big discussion. There, was, there were people getting together to start blowing away the wiki and make it not a disaster area. Does yep. you know? I would assume that they looked at it and were able to scream at Oh, yeah. yeah. There is a thing on Friday at this wall that somebody wants to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, I, I never recall who it was. There was a, a massive undertaking organi being organized, to, but I don't think that happened. Okay. All right. So, um, in 2014, now I've just I've just said a bunch of things that are a little bit negative and, and you know maybe people aren't feeling good about themselves. So this is what I do when I'm not feeling good about myself. A little positivity from the room. <laughs> Everybody just soak it up for a second. A little positivity. All right, we good? All right. Remember, we're doing things in the name of open source, and we should all be excited and positive, even when we're getting a little bit of negative feedback. We have to remember we're fighting the good fight. We're doing the good things, and we have to be energized and excited. So now, now that you're energized and excited and have kitten power, uh, I'm gonna talk about why you, yes you, must help. Marketing really needs new blood, okay? We have a number of people who have been involved in marketing and on the marketing list and participating in discussions for a while. They are not sufficient. There's nothing wrong with the people who are participating except that they have lives. I've advised against it and yet people insist on doing it. Um, <laughs> So they have lives and they have other responsibilities. That's the main problem that most of the folks have. And they don't have situational awareness into all of the things in Fedora. We need more participation from people. Even if marketing is not one of your core skills, you still have information and you still have the ability to help us do things, okay? A core group can do most of the work, but many hands are needed for some of these tasks. And members of the core group often you know, participate heavily in one or two cycles and then something happens, they move, they get married or a life change happens, they get a new job. And when those things disrupt the flow of contributing, it's hard to get them back. Nothing wrong with that, people move in and out of open source, it's fine, but we have to have new people waiting to step up and take those roles when that happens. So Fedora is awesome. We all love Fedora, and, we, and, I, and I honestly think this is true. The last two or three years of Fedora have just been an increasingly better distribution, even though it's always been great. It is, has increasingly gotten better over the last couple of years. And the stats that Matt showed Monday shows that that's getting some traction. I think there are some other things that are impacting that as well. But we can do better at getting our story out there and do better at getting people to try and use the door and contribute to it. So unless people know it's awesome, we can't win. And finally, you must help because if you don't, Matthew will be sad. We don't want to make the FPL sad, right? So now I want to talk about some ways that you can help, and these are mostly from easy to harder, okay? So the first couple of things anybody in this room should be able to do without any training. Subscribe to the marketing mailing list, okay? I'm assuming everybody in this room can do that. You, pretty much everybody in Fedora should be subscribed to the marketing mailing list in my opinion. This way, when we are talking about the things that we need to do, we can get voices from other parts of the project that can give us information that we need without too much friction. Use social media to promote Fedora. Okay, again, as I said, a couple of people have entered the room since I said this, but if you have a Twitter account or a Facebook account or a Google Plus account or maybe some form of social media that I'm unaware of that is popular in a different region or younger crowd than me because I'm old, uh, you know, 
whatever. Uh, I don't know that Tinder would be the right uh, mechanism <laughs> to promote Fedora, but many, many different ways you could use to promote Fedora. I would like to see this the next time there is a Fedora release. You know, I would like to see us break Twitter with the mighty waves of Fedorans going to Twitter to promote it. I don't know if we can do that. Not well, I was going to get to that. I was going to say, I don't know if we can exert that much pressure, but also since they've retired the fail well, we might not get that. But we could still, you know, we could still make a, cho a shot at being a trending topic and maybe attract some people to Fedora that have never heard of it. How many folks are developing something in Fedora land in some way, shape, or form? How many people are working on technical features related to Fedora in any way? All right. If you're working on a feature, again, I've, I've seen this phenomenon many, a number of times. Someone will roll up after a release and go, you know, I did this great thing for the last release. Why didn't anybody promote it? That also applies to the release notes. Why did I agree with yes to that? What's that? Communicate? Yes, yes. But I mean, you know, I'm not psychic, thank goodness, because there are rooms I have been in that I do not want to read those people's minds. Um, but uh, if you're working on a feature, you need to communicate it to us. You need to uh, surface that to us to help us out. You can write for Fedora Magazine. We just had a very, very impassioned discussion about Fedora Magazine. Um, and I keep coming back to one of the biggest problems we have with Fedora Magazine is not enough content, not enough people writing for it. I want to see more people, even if it's just once a cycle, if there is something going on in Fedora that you are passionate about, work with us to write articles about it. Surface those features that you are working on. Help us write user-facing content on how to use things in Fedora. Um, you know, I'm going to pick on just some random people. You with the Gorillas sticker. What is your interest in Fedora? How long have you? Now I feel like I'm in an AA meeting. I, I used to be a Microsoft user. Um, it's been 12 months since I booted Windows. Um, so how long have you been off of Windows? Five years. Uh, when I bought this machine, I made a copy of the hard drive and put the door on it. And haven't reconstituted the initial hard drive since. I bet you have some great stories that would help other people take that path. Have you thought about Have you thought about writing for Fedora magazine and, and sharing that? Yes. Have you done it? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, he thought he was going to make it. He's like, <laughs> all right. No, you can't phone a friend either. So, um, Circo, I'll pick on you. You have written for Fedora magazine, have you not? Yeah. How, has it been successful for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was really successful. Yeah. I mean, I have written uh, before, and I gave always my written things to Chris, and he has published that. But this time I have written by myself in, in, in WordPress. I used this time for a magazine to announce the Metro World Paper submission phase, mm -hmm. and it's very successful. Uh, I have already since yesterday that much submissions as I had last time, probably over time, so on one day. Not all of them are good. Some I have to reject because they violate. But it's still a lot. So it was very successful. Cool. So I won't. I won't. Thank you. I won't uh, torture everyone in the audience. But you know, you get the point that this is one a good way to reach people, and two, we all have stories that we can share that would be useful for the project and probably useful for you too. So, on the thing that Ruth raised, uh, if we're going to blow away the wiki, then this is sort of irrelevant. But if we are going to keep the wiki as is, we could really use some help cleaning up the marketing wiki, going through 
getting rid of irrelevant content, adding, you know, looking and seeing like what are we missing because we don't necessarily communicate as well as we can with the outside world what they can do to help marketing, what our procedures are. We have a lot of standard operating procedures on there that I don't think have been updated since, you know, the, since Fedora was in the teens. So, another thing that would be very helpful is have people participate in the release activities. By release activities, I mean writing or contributing to the release announcements, the alpha, the beta, and the final. Um, also, I would consider, you know, helping with the release notes, the final docs, and things like that, part of that as well. We should be talking more with the docs folks. Um, so I would like to see people do that, but also, again, when the release happens, I want to see people out there blogging about it and shouting about it and working with ambassadors to schedule things. You know, I know the ambassadors take the bulk of planning uh, release parties and things like that, but we should also be using Fedora Magazine and social media to promote those, and we're not doing that right now. We need to be creating presentations and other materials for ambassadors. We have a lot of people who are very knowledgeable about Fedora and willing to, to go out and evangelize Fedora, but I can tell you creating slideware is no fun. Uh, if, we can, if we can take the load off a little bit and help create some of those presentations that they can then modify to suit their own tastes, that would be very useful. Do you have a comment? You look like you... No? Okay. That was pointing at you, sir. I mean, you look like you might have a comment. Okay. Um, another thing, and again, these are going from easiest to hardest. This starts getting a little bit more advanced level. Take lead on a user or potential user survey. Uh, I've looked at some of the things we've done in the past to survey Fedora users, and I think one of the biggest fails was we tried to survey just the existing users, which is sort of like, you've already bought our product, what are you going to do so that we can make you buy it again? I want to reach the people we haven't gotten to yet. I am not a uh, master of creating survey type materials. I would love someone who has a background in that sort of thing to take the lead on not only creating the survey, but saying, here's 10 ways I think you could reach people who are potential Fedora users or contributors, but aren't already on a mailing list where you can reach them directly. I would love to see someone take the lead on, for example, I was talking uh, in the break, talking to Paul and, and uh, Chris a little bit. There are hundreds of universities just in North America where people study things like marketing and journalism, although journalism is, is not as healthy as it used to be. Um, and these people could probably, there are professors who might in fact direct people towards Fedora as an activity they could do for credit and work with us. Um, there may also be computer science folks who are, this might be an easy way for students to get involved in Fedora. Most importantly, do something, okay? What we have right now is not as much activity as we really, really need. And we need people to step up and realize that Fedora is not gonna market itself. And the group of people who are currently involved in Fedora marketing are not sufficient to do all of the things that we need right now. We need people to step up and take a little bit of responsibility and be willing to work with us on promoting Fedora. Any questions? It's not very quiet. I, I, I guess not. I'm kind of wondering what's going on over there. It sounds very interesting. Um, no questions or comments? Um, so, me personally, I have not with Fedora. I know Fedora has in the past done some surveys, but that was before my time. Ruth might be able to speak to that. Uh, I think that predates me, so more than, say, eight years ago. Paul, do you have any institutional memory to help us with? Sorry, I was looking at the book. No, 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 no. What's no, Sir, he was asking about surveys. Does anybody in living memory remember doing any of the surveys I had experience with? I think that crafting the survey questions to get to get demographics from users and usage patterns is going to be a lot easier than taking the bulk results and seeing a pattern. Mm, okay. Or at least I think they're different tasks. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
went to the council meeting we had earlier today? Small number. I, I'm toying with the idea. So Fedora has objectives, and the, the council is now taking on the objectives, a small number of objectives at a time. For example, one of the objectives is the additions. So Fedora is an, is, has an objective to have separate additions that are specialized for different use cases and different user personas. Um, we have a couple of other objectives, but they mentioned an interest in, in having at least one or two more objectives to rotate in as they're rotating out because we're, we're kind of far along on the additions, so we no longer maybe need to have that as an objective. We're not going to stop doing it. It's just that we may have gotten to the point where we've completed that work and it is now part of the more institutionally. And I am considering proposing making, uh, reviving, and improving Fedora marketing an objective for the next several releases. Um, I'm debating, I don't want to propose that unless I am also willing to own a large part of that and do the work because that's the way that Fedora works and it should. So I'm debating whether I want to jump in that particular particular Sarlacc pit at this time. Um, but I, I would like to see that as an objective. I would like to see uh, I'm very, you know, interested in Fedora having very healthy marketing because I hate to see all of the work that we do not reach the fullest audience it possibly can. I won't say the work goes to waste because everybody in this room is probably using Fedora and benefiting from it. I think even if Fedora's audience never grew, we're still doing a good thing for the world and we're still you know, reaching some of our potential, but I don't think we've, by any stretch of the imagination, reached our full potential, uh, or even tapped into more than 30% of our full potential yet. That's why I think, so what, when we spoke around on it, uh, Matthew submitted an idea, uh, submitted his, you know, who wants to be lead, and so forth, and I think there, myself and a few others, we replied saying what we were qualified for. And yeah. actually, he came down with the saying that he didn't actually want the marketing lead, he wanted mm -hmm. a conglomerate of effort and task employed between multiple people too. Yeah. So that way one person doesn't have a full burden, but it's mm -hmm. more of a group effort, which would yield a better result. I, I personally, I disagree with that approach just a little bit because it's not about making yeah. the lead responsible for everything, but in order to have somebody who's accountable for making right. sure right. that there's sure. going So one of, the, one of the hats that I wear, occasionally is that of a member of the Apache Software Foundation and a participant in some of those projects. Each top-level project has a uh, vice president that reports up to the board, and um, that does not mean that that person, that person is responsible for certain things, like making sure there is a report to the board every quarter, uh, and a couple of other housekeeping tasks and nominally they are the spokesperson for that project, but they are by no means responsible for all the things that happen in that project, or even, like, technically, the VP doesn't have to write the report, they merely have to deliver it to the board. You know, so I, I'm with Paul on, we probably need a Fedora marketing lead who is responsible for, for example, like for the last couple of releases, I've taken on the responsibility of poking people with a stick to make sure that we have release announcements. And, um, you know, going to the readiness meetings, for example. Nobody went to the last read readiness meeting for Fedora at all. Okay. For, 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 for marketing. What Matt was probably trying to resolve is exactly that problem in that for a very, very long time, the lead has ended up being responsible for everything. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I, you know, I think there's a big difference between I will take responsibility to find someone who will do this versus I will do all of this myself. Um, that's why we, and uh, 
Hello, we're trying to come up. We actually were setting up like a wiki page, like, hey, the who, who's going to do like social media? Who's going to do the magazine with me? Who's going to do, who's going to do kind of like recruiting? Who's going to focus on like flyer? Who's going to do release notes? And we're trying to divide it up that way. Yeah. I'm not stuck with, I got to maintain the magazine. I've got to do the release notes. And I'm like, oh, crap. OK, I forgot to do that now. The door's coming out tomorrow. So it was, that's why we kind of like, Matthew was like, well, we should split it up and have tasks. Like a designated person for this job. Yeah. I think the point that he was making at the time um, was that rather than having other meetings about who was going to be the leader yeah. and no one wanted to do it, uh, that if everyone started taking on tasks, the leadership would work out. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it was sort of dodging the question at the time because like, it was the second two hours. Oh, <laughs> I have seen zero of the Fedora Hub stuff, I'm afraid. Because uh, one, so one of the interesting things about that uh, is, um, so, so it's the, the key thing for this complex is just designed to be a feed, an activity feed for the different teams, mm -hmm. uh, is one of the things that I'll do all from. Uh, and, and that kind of gets back to the original comment about recruiting people, um, that, that, that folks with, a, with the journalism or the marketing background being able to see the stuff that's already being done and say, hey, I can help do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I can help do that. Uh, and and the, a Fedora marketing hub may actually help with that by seeing the existing blog posts and the magazine content and, uh, and, and the weekly uh, and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, and making that something that people can see and say, oh, I can actually help with that. And these are the people I need to talk to. Any other questions or comments or thoughts? So within OSAS, uh, Brian Profit just became social media manager person for all the OSAS things. So yep. um, hopefully within internally now we have a resource where we can help to coordinate some social media promotion with Red Hat as well. Yeah. So um, I met with him last week, I think, for the first, like, hi, how are you, what might we do meeting, and um, we're on his radar, and he's interested in it more, so um, as the social media strategy comes along in marketing land, like, I'm happy to help connect with that, I mean, you can, obviously, too, the same side of the team, but Well, and, and, and Brian has already been stepping up, and, and, uh, and in fact, we may have some feedback that it was maybe a little bit of a fire hose, but... Um, but he stepped up and, and put all of the, <laughs> including some of the Room 6 talks, onto Twitter for us. Um, so, uh, so he's already stepped up to do some of that stuff. And he, you know, he may even have bandwidth to help us a little bit with editing or writing occasionally. But, um, and that's, you know, a great point. Uh, but at the same time, Brian is also tasked with all of the other projects. So we can only rely on, like, well, Brian's amazing, so like this much of his time is like this much of anybody else's time, but still, um, yeah. So we, he can he can help us a little bit, yes. So. We brought back the when, uh, when I talked to Matthew, we brought back the track. The track for the real marketing was that and there's stuff in there from 2009, and so we, I pretty much purged most of it. And so now what we've done is we've taken the tasks and we for and we've made tasks. Kind of on that, but we've taken them for each release now, and that way we have, you know, we can assign accountability for that task and so forth. And it's actually made things a lot smoother. So, like screenshots, all right, who wants to do screenshots? All right, that's done. All right, go down the list and so forth. So, that's something that's really helped the marketing as well. Is by creating tasks, first off, creates accountability. Second of all, we don't get the age old question of somebody who wants to help with marketing, what do I do? There's nothing for me to do. I, how do I find something to do? So there's always something that's, that can be done. So something too for if you're looking to help a company, there is tasks to go out and do. Very simple, as Joe mentioned, or something. You can do something like screenshots on the wiki. Just, yeah. Any other 
Other comments? Questions? If not, um, you can reach me if you have anything to add or volunteer for or comment on just JZB at Red Hat. Uh, I'm also on Twitter. You can find me there at JZB. If you want to subscribe to the marketing list or you have information to send to it, it's just marketing at listfedoraproject.org. So. We have that block where you can't send anything to it unless you sign up. So. Yeah, it's mod I'm a moderator though, so if you send something, like if you absolutely just don't want to subscribe, but you have inf something important to send to it, if you send and it's not spam, I'll flag it through. So. And in fact, whenever anything comes into the existing list, so the admins can usually like, okay, Paul, I know Paul does a lot of things in Fedora and he sent a mail for the list and he isn't subscribed, but I'm going to go ahead and click the little box that says in the future he can send without being subscribed because I know Paul is moderately unlikely of sending any spam to the list, so um, we'll let him through. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, folks. Thank you.